Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's talk spring makeup. It was um, spring last week. It became spring, I think. I try to load this around the week of the season change here in North America and spring is probably one of my favorite color seasons of the year. Um, fall being a very high one, uh, spring being a close second. I really love pastel makeup. I love iridescent, glittery, shiny, sparkly things. And to me, you can wear that year round. You do whatever you want to, but, but it really screams spring to me. So what I've done is I've pulled a whole, a whole caboodle, not an actual caboodle, but like, I wish I had a caboodle. Did you have a caboodle? My sister did. It was pink. Loved it. Um, and I, I pulled a bunch of stuff that is going to be incorporated into my everyday makeup stuff that I use for specific spring looks. Um, I am so excited to share this with you. I've got eyeshadow palettes. I've got some um, blushes. I've got some other kind of eye products, like colored eye products, and just some randomy kind of things as well. Um, things like foundation and powder, that and it, it stays the same year round for me. I don't actually change um, products for my skin based on the season. I just use the same things, um, but I also have a ridiculous amount of foundations. So I just use them as I want to. And, um, but color products is what I'm looking for. So uh, I'll do some swatches of some things I really like um, out of this. And you tell me what you're using for spring down below and let's let's talk about it. Um, I do have, a, this makeup look is very simple, but I love it. And I do have a get ready with me on this makeup look. So hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, you can go check out my channel for all the things that I have posted. I have lots of videos. I've done this spring palettes almost every year that I've been on YouTube. Um, so it's been like four years now. So go check it out if you want some other um, palettes uh, recommendations, specifically eyeshadow palettes. Okay, la la la, let's go. I'm going to pull stuff at random and um, because it's all kind of piled in here. And we're going to start with an eyeliner palette. I've been really loving cake eyeliners. So water activated eyeliners where you dip your liner brush in water, you swirl it in the very dry uh, palette, um, and then you can either mix your colors that you want to or just apply it straight out. And I love them. So this is one that I have from um, J Cat Beauty. It is a Korean brand. You can find J Cat on Ulta, but I ordered this one off of their website. This is actually a UV one. It's called Color Scope. Um, but I don't hang out under a black light, but the colors themselves, they are so neon. I doubt that the camera is picking them up. This is a flamingo neon pink. This is a like a or like a neon orchid. This is a creamsicle, so neon creamsicle orange. It's gorgeous. The white can mix with any of them or any of the other palettes that I have. Um, but this one specifically is a springtime Easter egg delight. So we're going to use her specifically in spring. Another product, and I've got one of these on my eyes today. I think I have them all. I'm lying. There's another one. Okay. This is a product that I am really excited to get some use out of. And I'm going to pull a couple of like items as well because we're going to use those too. So the product that I have on my eyes today under the shiny things is the P. Louise Basic cosmetic base. So it's, it's, it can be used anywhere on your face. It's like a paint, uh, but it's, it's an eye base. And I think this came as a set question mark. Um, but it is like every, it's literally like peak colors and they're gorgeous. I have the, the vivid violet. It wasn't coming out of my mouth, um, shade on today, but any of these it's a matte color. You blend it out. It lasts all day. It's beautiful. And I'm happy to use those in the, in the same motif. Here's one more of that same type of thing. This is from Thread Beauty, which is at Target, but you can also order from their website. This is called Paint It. Um, and this is in Purple Rain. It's absolutely stunning. It's a doe foot. So even easier than the squeezy. Swipe it on it's gorgeous. I love this color as a base of any kind of iridescent pink, blue, purple, 
any of it. Like I love this base color and the Nessa Myricks just came out with one of hers in a, like a lavender and I wanted it and I'm like, you don't need it because you have these two and you're gonna be fine. So I'm I'm using what I have. So here we go. Another product that is not specifically for the eyes, but I'm gonna use it on the eyes as a base color is this weirdo product. This is a Made by Mitchell liquid blush in a green. Why? I don't know. It's called Dream Screen. It came in a mystery bag, obviously. Um, but it is a beautiful shade and it matches perfectly with a liner that I also got. This is his Graph Ink um, Walk the Lime is the shade. These two things, gorgeous. This underneath like an iridescent, like a white iridescent shifting green or lime with this as a liner, 10 out of 10. And so that is going on my eyes together at some point. I'm never gonna use this as a blush. I'm never gonna be able to pull off a green blush in my opinion, but I absolutely will use this as an eye base. It, it dries down, it's beautiful. We get the use out of our products, right? Okay, let's do a couple eyeshadow palettes while we're digging. This bad girl, Yas Queen. This is the Pretty Guardians Sailor Moon for Love and Justice. This is their second Sailor Moon collection with ColourPop, and this is just absolute pastel beautifulness, right? Absolutely yes, but it's toned down. Like you, it's not a rainbow pastel palette. Um, we have a peach, we have a dusty mauve, and then we've got a couple of dusty darker shades, and then the rest are just shimmery gloriousness. Yep. Most of these palettes I save to wear until springtime, and I just, every day is like pastel day for weeks at a time in my life. So there's that. Here's another one I've saved. This is the Garden of Juvia's Place um, palette and it, let me come on. This is more of what we would kind of think. It's not quite rainbow, but we're getting there. So this bottom row is matte. Then we've got these three mattes. The rest are this, these stunning, beautiful shimmers and they are gorgeous. So we're, we're closer to rainbow pastel, but with so many beautiful shimmers and you, you just go to town, put one of these paints on and then top it with a shimmer, you're done. Like it's so pretty. This is Garden of Juvia's, yes. Next up, this is a classic. I love her, I love her. This is ColourPop Aurora Struck and she can be certainly used at other times. This is also a winter palette for me, I think of palettes and seasons, you do you. And I like switching out my collection of things that I grab for like at hand by the season. And so I think of palettes in a season and then I get more use out of my makeup collection. That's how I roll, you do you. But this is, there's the, the bottom two rows are, can definitely be like smoky, wintry gorgeousness or they can just be used to line or deepen up or whatever but the the iridescent shimmers and the beautifulness up top absolutely gorgeous another palette that is reminiscent of this is the 35 i the icy fantasy by morphe it's older um and she's back there somewhere and i will pull her occasionally for spring as well same flavor just different brand um and it's gorgeous okay here's a really pretty palette that if i don't actually pull the smaller palettes and set them on the, I will, I don't use them as much. And so this is why, this is why I do this, is because I need to. This is the Pat McGrath Labs, um, what is it called? Good Lord. Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad and Fleur Fantasia. There it is. It's the tiniest writing on the back and I'm old. This is the, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like this peach matte is, it could be absolutely everyday transition shade, crease color. This is, pretty, but I don't love golds. So this one doesn't get as much use as this one and this one, but absolutely beautiful. Love it to death. If I don't pull it, I won't wear it. So that's, it's, I've got to like, I have to be intentional when I pull the things that I like to pull. Okay. Here's some other things that are chilling out on top. This is a blush. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. I think I have every color of this blush because it is my favorite blush in the last year for sure. This is in Goldie Cassius. Cassis, Goldie Cassis, it's a, it's a lilac -y blush. She's gorgeous. I do not love the domed packaging because it, it doesn't fit anywhere or stack. 
that's my only complaint and that's not really a complaint but there it is i do have what is on my eyes today the sparkle is from the color pop lavish i have this entire collection and i haven't used any of it because when it came out it was fall and i was like this is not a fall palette this is a spring palette so today i have on the eyes this color this color and this color and it's just over this that's it and it's gorgeous i love it so much it's beautiful could it be a fall palette no <laughs> You wear your colors anytime you want, baby. But this is, nope, that's spring. Um, okay, I do, I did pull a bronzer product because I haven't used it and I'd like to. And I think this might be the time of year to use it. I don't know for sure. This is the Pixie on the Glow Bronze. It's a, it's one of these long sticky things and it's real like shimmery. Like she's, she's got some shimmer and I'm thinking, okay, maybe we could do that in spring. I don't know though. I don't know if I like this, but we're going to try her and see what we think in spring. <laughs> um, okay. These are, this is a Give Me Glow Cosmetics magnetic palette. If you haven't seen, they come out with like really cute patterns now. So cute. And I believe all these are, I think they're all looksy. They are. These are all my looksy shades and they are, they shift like they're all multi chromey whatevers. They shift all the beautifulness. This this is, I mean, you slap one of these on, one of these on top. You have an, an entire beautiful eye look that flashes different colors, looks beautiful, and it was two steps. It's so easy. And I'd like to get, you know, some use out of my Luxie shadows in the same vein. The Flower Beauty, like gorgeousness, the latest ones that came out. This is Coastal Lights and Garden Lights. They're stunning. Stunning shades. They are so beautiful. And the, to me, these are partnering palettes with either mattes or it's a one and done all shimmer. And I don't, I usually like a matte. And so I will use one of the mattes of either the palettes or one of the eye bases as a matte and then one of these as a topper. And these are, so, I mean, you cannot beat these with a stick. I know you've probably seen these swatched. We're going to do it again. And can't tell me you can't tell me that I don't want to smooth that all over my body yes I do look at it stop it. it they're gorgeous I mean they're just if you want one palette to be your like statement shimmer palette grab one of these there's also the jungle lights and the whatever the other one was they're also beautiful but these these are the newest ones they're gorgeous and to me they scream spring. So that's why I saved them till now. Okay. I've got a few things that are still in their boxes. Cause again, I bought the entire like lavender thing and I never color pop release and I never used them. So they were, they were in hiding. So here we go. If you're new here, that's a trash can where where's my finger. Hello. That's a trash can, but next to it is a recycling bin. And I throw things at it and sometimes I make it and sometimes I don't. Um, this is the So Glassy lip gloss that came in that collection. It's just stupidly beautiful. <laughs> oh, I just smeared it all over my face. Let's go, kid. Hang on. We just got it everywhere. That's beautiful. We'll use that. It's absolutely beautiful. All right. I also have these bad girls. They're the super sock shusher sock shadows that came with that collection. All right. This one is in so surreal. I'm sorry that you probably can't. I don't know if you can still buy this or not. Um, but if you have them, use them. But you know, just break out your purples. That's what I'm doing. I'm breaking out all the purples and the pinks and the dream sickles and the mints. That's how I'm rolling. Here's the next one. Angelic. Angelic. Angel. Angelic. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Like, stop. I mean, they're all the same color. I mean, I'm just literally smearing the same thing. She's gorgeous. It's like, it's the time of year, kids. It's the most wonderful time of year to be a unicorn. This came from that Sailor Moon collection, too. This is that... I think she's technically a highlighter. Yeah, it's called Moon Kingdom Press Powder Highlighter. But she's going to probably be a blush. 
by the time I'm, yeah, that's going to be a blush for me, kids, because there's no way that's just going to be a highlighter. So it's just a, oh my God, the most stunning, gorgeously highlighty blush on the planet. Yes, that is gorgeous. I hope that you're having a good time because I am. I could swatch these things forever. Do you ever wish that you had more than one face or more than one pair of eyes just so that you could do like I look after I look after I look? Me too. If you don't, this might not be a place for you. Here's another Super Shock Shadow. This is in Creepin. This is the Haunted Mansion collection, but this color was, that collection was weird, but not in a bad way. Just, I don't, it, it wasn't Halloween in any way, shape, or form or scary. It's beautiful, but it was, it's just, it's, I mean, come on, that's like, it's so iridescent, but with a clear base. So there's not like pigment underneath. See how like it disappears and then you see the shine. This is what I would absolutely put over any of these colors and it would be gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It's so beautiful. Just unicorn your whole face. All right. I do have a mascara oddly enough this is the i think it's the about face 94 the af94 um halsey's brand maybe um this is the push to start volumizing mascara but it's in the pink color and i don't think i've ever used it i think i bought it and oh i never used it okay so here she is let's are you still good i don't know but i thought that'd be nice for spring right can we put it on our bottom lashes with no mirror Hello. It's working. I have the puniest bottom lashes. I usually don't put mascara on my bottom lashes. But we'll try her out. It's a little pink. We'll try it. I don't know. I think I got it at Walmart like forever ago. Another mascara, I think from the lavender collection. From ColourPop and I haven't opened it. Oh, I made it. Um, this is the volumizing mascara, the BFF volumizing mascara. I don't know what color. She, floating fern. Is this green? No. Why would you be called floating fern and be purple? I mean, I, from the outside of the packaging, I should have guessed purple, but floating fern. Anyway, we got two colored mascaras to try this spring. All right, here's some highlighters because why not? Uh, this is the Hedwig highlighter from the Harry Potter collection from forever back. Um, she is like, you can see the marble and it's like a blue and a lavender in there. She's gorgeous. We'll swipe her right next to that Haunted Mansion one. It's just, it's so pretty, so pretty. And it's lovely. This one also came with the lavender, whatever this one is in, Lav Dreams. Look at her marbling. Brr, yes. These are like ostentatiously large. Like who would ever but me. But okay, here we're going to put her on the outside. She's more bluey than Hedwig. Hedwig is more pinky. She's more bluey. I'm down for both. Down for both. Here's a blush. This is the Juvia's Place. I have... Uh... This is the only shade of this whole collection, it's a blush duo, that I was like, I must own that. And it's because of that bad girl right there. She is so bright. She is so bright and so gorgeous. This is also a beautiful pink, but this, this right here, mm, that's just, it does something to me, girls and boys, the gays and the days. It's just absolutely beautiful, love it. It's gorgeous. I love Juvie's Place, period, but that blush, I was like, it must be mine. Okay, back to some palettes. Oh, there's no rhyme or reason here. This is one of the opera ones from, like the opera mask ones from Florasis um, that my husband gave me. Was it Christmas? Was it my birthday? Was it Christmas? Help me remember, friends. Um, all you know is you heifers that want to see what he gives me. Um, I always tell you what he gives me, but this one, it look, it's just, these are going to be washes of color. This is not going to be like full on like crazy pigmented it's washes of these beautiful colors see what i'm saying okay i the, i want i'm fine with that i like that it's beautiful and the the artwork 
is everything. He buys me all the fluoresces that I want. Um, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but there's some beautiful colors in this. And I thought this would be a really fun springtime palette. It's magnetic, which makes me happy. This palette is from Beauty Bay. It's the Metamorphic palette. It came out a while back. It has a cool, this is the only palette from Beauty Bay I have that opens like this. Um, but come on, unicorn. Like, sweet baby. It's beautiful. It is stunning. It's every color that I ever wanted in a unicorn palette. There are a few mattes here. This one, this is kind of a grayish kind of beige gray is um a matte this one is a matte this one is this navy is a matte purple and then a pure gray and the rest of them are all shimmery gorgeousness beautifulness they are so smooth and so stunning and you will not be sorry i don't know if you i don't know if you still get this or not but if you have this pull this out for spring it's gorgeous a highlighter palette that i got from jcat is called unicorn magic it's like, it's, you know, why not? But come on. Like, I don't know that I'd ever use a, a gray highlighter. I would definitely use it on my eyes. But they, it, we've got some really pretty highlighter shades for fun looks. And I love it. All right, back to palettes. We've got Clarity Cosmetics. So amazing. And I still had the sleeve. And I think it's because one of my shades, yes, one of my shades had cracked and I was cooking it meaning I put some alcohol and smashed it back in and I wanted to be sure I didn't like sling it open. So I left the sleeve on it while it was uh, drying back. This shade was damaged in shipping and I just pressed it back in and it's so, but look at her. Come on, come on. I love the Clarity formula. I love everything about Clarity Cosmetics. Love it so much. Here's another Juvia's that is newer. Uh, this is the Candy Shop and she is Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Come on. I mean, I can't. Let's watch this one together because why not? Oh, I saw a highlighter everywhere. <laughs> Let's swatch her on the wrist. Yes. Come on. So pretty. This is a, I've got a couple of palettes in here that are pairing palettes. Um, like the Flower Beauty ones, they are like just um, it's really the, all about the shimmers in these and then pairing it with a matte somewhere else this is the man i love frogs from sugar drizzle which is a north carolina brand thank you so much um and it's nothing but the most gorgeous uh shimmery duochromy gorgeousness is ever and again this is one that i would just pair it with something from another palette here's one from gloss gods this is the look for rainbows she's bright now she be bright but come on I mean, love it. The cosmetic brushes, I think they're changing their name. I don't know for sure, but this is the Delicious Delights palette, which wasn't my favorite when I made my, I think I'm saying, wasn't my favorite when I made my purchase because I got like the Gothic palette, the Winter Wonderland palette, the Muse palette. Like I have every palette that they have made. This one I was not as stoked about. And I think it was because it wasn't the season in my brain for this palette. This in my brain, it could be several seasons in one because of like, to me, I look at the rose on this palette and I see spring, spring, fall, winter. That's what I see, but also this could certainly be spring and we could certainly use some of these in spring as well. I was getting mixed seasons when I looked at this and so I wasn't uber stoked. But now that it's spring and I'm seeing what I can do with this, um, I'm more excited about using this palette now. But this is a, I mean, this is like a stupid, beautiful, do, look at it go. Look at the duochrome go. Look at it go. Stop. They're just, that formula is beautiful. Here's another Clarity and I don't, is this the one that has the, yes, one more busted shade. Um, I think this is one of the ones that they were, it was like 10 bucks or something. I'm not going to beef with uh, an indie brand over a 10 buck palette or an 18 buck palette or whatever that has one shade that I can get back together. So I got that lilac -y color back together, but this is a little bit darker. So I also can, I would be seeing this in fall for myself, but it's just also, it's so beautiful. I had to pull it for spring. This is called the Bloom Palette. And last but not least, I want to get some use out of this palette. So I pulled it. Um, this is the Tarte Man Eater. And you might be thinking, Leanne, this is not really a spring palette, but it kind of could be. So I'm going <laughs> to use her. Like I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking the mint 
teal part. I'm thinking the peachy. See this, like, right? Like, I know some of these are pulling very fall. Um, but I also, I want to get some use. I love this formula from Tarte. I love it so much. I've always loved Tarte shadows. You might not. And a lot of people have beef with Tarte shadows because they aren't as pigmented as other brands have been. This formula is much more pigmented than the past formula. I love it all. I am fair. So almost everything shows up on me full pigment like it just does and so I can get a lot of use out of things that are less pigmented than others this is one of my favorite formulas um and this is absolutely beautiful this is the nightfall man eater one um I have the other one that has the black on the front that man eater one is also quite good but this is the nightfall one and I love that that's what I've pulled for spring and I do have my normal like neutral palettes that we've We've talked about before. Most of them are the exact same as before. And I am going to keep those. I've incorporated a couple of different ones. We might do, I might kind of do an updated neutral palette. What's on my vanity neutral palettes um, for you so that you can see what I've kind of updated. What's come in since I filmed that and kind of swapped out. But this is what I've got pulled for spring. I am so excited about using all of these products and doing the makeup looks that I love for myself. Uh, I'm going to unicorn it out, y'all. If you want to unicorn it out with me, let's go. If you are a neutral lover, great. Hang out with me and watch someone else slap clown makeup on their face because I get so excited about the colors of spring. <laughs> so come hang out with me and use some of these products. Let me know what you've got pulled for spring, what your favorite palettes are for spring. Um, if you aren't a pastel person, what colors are spring to you? What, do, what are you using uh, in place of that? Let me know what you like down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit like. It really does help my channel. Thank you so much for all of your loving words and all your support. I really appreciate it. You'll have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.